Hi, I'm David Coffey, Jackson County Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources for the University of Kentucky. Today is part three of our setting up your heifers for artificial insemination, and uh, today we're inseminating. Now, we've actually, over the past, uh, since yesterday, we've done a few that's come into heat as they come in, and your heat detectors will, will turn red just like this when they're in heat. But now we're doing a cleanup. We had a few that didn't come into heat and that kind of thing, so we're going to go ahead and, and uh, give those a shot of GNRH with two cc's just like you would with, uh, if you did a timed AI without heat packing. So we're gonna do an intermuscular shot, uh, two cc's of GNRH. And then we've got our, our uh, semen already pulled out of the tank here. We got it in the thawer. Gonna get it out, shake the water off of it good. I'm gonna try to dry it really well because water can kill semen okay I'm gonna take our gun and pull the plunger back load the straw into the gun got to get her scissors to clip the end with clip the end of it off I'm gonna put the sheath on, the blue end toward the gun, and that blue end's gonna push all the way up to the end. We're gonna fasten it on our gun, good and solid. Then you wanna be able to keep that warm to be able to breathe. I'm gonna put our palpation glove on. And then put some lubricant on the palpation glove. All right, so now I got our lube all ready up. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and go in here and pass this rod to the heifer. I'm gonna palpate with my left hand, pass the rod with my right hand. I'm gonna move her tail off to the left side there. Now you gotta find the cervix. Do that in like a sweeping motion around her pelvic area. So I've got a hold of it now. Go up in with the rod. Make sure not to put it in the bladder. That's why we go up at an angle. Now at the cervix, it's got like a gritty feel at the end of it. You gotta pass that rod right through each of the, the gritty feel and kind of pop through. And then there's what they call rings, annular rings in there. And you gotta pop those the rod through each of those rings. I kind of work the rod. I kind of work the cervix over the rod is the way that I do it. Just keep working it around. constantly working with my left hand. I pass the rod right through the end of it. Now I'm going to make sure it's just barely sticking through about a quarter of an inch where I can fill up my fingertip and slowly deposit the sink. I hear in about 283 days, we should have a nice Hereford cross calf out of these uh, nice Angus heifers. Thanks for watching.